let's be honest, you're not charging the rates you really want to charge because you don't feel confidence. In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to teach you how you can increase your confidence as an entrepreneur so you can show up better in your business. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Maya Elias. I am the CEO of Built to Impact, which is a coaching company where we have coaching programs and live events for women of faith and entrepreneurs who want to master their message, attract high-end clients, and launch their signature offer and take their business to six figures and beyond. So one of the things that I love doing is teaching my clients how to become confident with selling, with increasing their rates and attracting high-end clients. Confidence is something that a lot of people struggle with because I think that when you feel like you're a good person, you really want to show up as this humble person. You don't want too much. You don't want to ask for too much. You just want to help people. You want to serve people and you don't want to seem greedy. First of all, money is a good thing. Money is a great thing. We got to stop lying about not wanting to make a lot of money. We first need to be honest with ourselves. If you have a good heart and you want to help people, the more money you have, the more money you are able to invest in other people, the more you're able to do with the resources that you have. One thing that I like to tell my clients is, the more I have, the more I have to give. So let's talk about confidence. If you're feeling like, ah, I don't know if I'm really good enough. One thing that I always ask my clients is, what are you the absolute best at? Sometimes we don't feel confident in what we're doing because we're trying to do too many things in our business, trying to prove that we're valuable, trying to prove that we can do a lot of things when you should really be niching down and doing the things that nobody does better than you. So think about it for a second and write it down. What are you the absolute best at? And of all the things that you are doing, which one do you enjoy the most and which one do you feel like you are the most skilled in? That is a question you need to be able to confidently answer. Now, if you don't feel like you are the best at it, meaning if there were five other people who were doing the same thing as you, if you don't feel like you are the best, then you are experiencing a skill gap. Now, the great thing about confidence is that you can literally pay for confidence, meaning if you need to advance in your skill, you can sign up for a course to advance in your skill. If you are a photographer, a painter, a videographer, a speaker, a copywriter, whatever your trade is, you can make investments to figure out how to be better within that skill. The second thing that I want you to think about in terms of becoming more confident is how many years have you been doing this? How many years have you been practicing this skill? Your skill should be a daily practice. That is how you become an expert. That is how you become the best. Now with all of the years that you've been doing this, what are all of the things you've been able to do? Did you go to school for this? Was this something that you did at your job that you got paid for? A lot of times we think that we're not good enough to be able to charge for something, but we never think that when we go for a job interview, we expect to be paid for showing up and performing a skill. So out of all of the years, what have you been able to do and what are the type of results that you've been able to get for people? And that's the third thing that I want you to think about when it comes to feeling confident with your craft. What are the type of results you've been able to get for yourself, for your employer, for your friends, for your family, or maybe even your first set of clients? At the end of the day, people aren't just necessarily buying into your talents, they're buying into the transformation as a result of your talents. So think about the transformation, the outcomes and the results that you have been able to get for people. If you feel like, man, I haven't really worked with enough people to really get the results that I want to show, you know, putting out some type of portfolio, having case studies, having testimonials, my suggestion is find five to 10 people in your network who specifically need your skill and offer your services to them. Now you can offer your services at a rate that you feel good about. You can offer your services for free if you feel like it's going to be a beneficial connection. 
but you right now need to focus on getting clients and getting results and getting testimonials. And so now you're not only telling people that you're good, but you have other people saying that you're good. So if you're struggling with confidence, make sure you do these three things and prioritize them today. So let me know which one of these things resonated with you most. And if you know somebody who is really talented, but they're struggling a little bit with their confidence, they're not charging what they should be charging. They're not showing up how they should be showing up. Make sure that you share this with them. All right. Until next time, I'll talk to you later.